Just days after Westchester County learned of its first confirmed coronavirus case, more than 100 families, that's a thousand people, are under New York State mandated self quarantine. This is one of the more complicated situations that we've come across because of the number of interconnections. The Young Israel Synagogue of New Rochelle and three schools connected to it, as well as Yeshiva University in Washington Heights, now all closed for sanitizing. This after a 50 year old man, the first case of corona in Westchester, has now infected nine other people, including his wife, son, and daughter. He had commuted to his Midtown Manhattan law firm with his wife. Well, I was told actually that the person that worked in my office was in contact with the person that had it from Westchester. Multiple schools across the county are closed. Now parents are learning two districts have closed for several days for disinfecting out of an abundance of caution. Mount Vernon and Hastings on Hudson informing parents that children had come into contact with people who had been self quarantining. Meanwhile, in New York City, the schools there, which educate 1.1 million kids every day, are not impacted, but the city is watching closely. Closing schools is probably the last option because of the just the, the myriad of issues that creates for not only students, parents, teachers, etc. Uh, so that's a, a one of the, it's on the spectrum of the last resort. New York City Department of Ed saying that one teacher will be tested today. The school has not been closed down, nor is it being identified, but all schools within the system are being deeply disinfected throughout the week. If that teacher comes back testing positive, all of her students need to be tested as well as her colleagues inside the classroom. We are live in New Rochelle in Westchester County. I'm Kirsten Holpix, 11 News.